guys welcome back to my channel and I'm so excited today we're starting our Christmas DIYs so let me show you what you'll need if you want to make this project it's really going to be cute okay um, first of all you're going to need a Dollar Tree candle holder okay just a little glass candle holder and then some other little sort of glass um, container I hauled this from Old Time Pottery not long ago, and it was like 99 cents, I think it was, or 98 cents. It wasn't much. Just something, you can use anything, but I wanted to use this. Then you'll need two glass little um, containers like this. I got this at Old Time Pottery as well, but any little glass, they were like 90 some cents. They weren't much, and um, but just some glass. Then you're going to need some of this Deco Art Metallics paint, and it's in pewter because I want everything to look cold, and I do my Christmas colors in my house in the gray, the blue, the silver, and the white, and this is really gonna look pretty. And then you're going to need some Krylon Foil Metallic Silver Paint. Um, now this was, $5.99, but I got it at um, Joann's, and I it was on sale. I don't remember how much, but I didn't pay a lot for that. And I don't know if I told you about this, but this was like $12.99 at um, Michael's is where I got this. I don't know where I said earlier, but this was at Michael's, and it was $12.99, and so I used my 40% off coupon, so it didn't cost much, okay? And then you're gonna need some balls, okay? I've got this large one from Old Time Pottery that I hauled and I love it. It was $6.99. And then this one right here that I got at Old Time Pottery and it was $2.49, but you can use any balls that you want. You can use them from Dollar Tree. And then this ball that was $2.49 as well. And then I got some from Lowe's because I wanted a different collar. And I saw these and I love these. They just are that beautiful blue with the snowflakes. Now this was $7.99. And then I picked this up at Lowe's as well. And it was $5.98. But like I said, you can use balls from Dollar Tree, wherever. And then I purchased two of these smaller ones. They were $3.98. So I got two of these. And then I got one of these little bulbs. I thought that was adorable. And it was $3.98 as well, okay? But I've seen these all over. So what we're gonna do first is paint these um, little containers right here with this blue paint. Let me move this down so that you can see. Okay, and what I want, I wanna paint the outside of these. And I'm just using a brush like this and you're gonna need a glue gun, okay? So let's, let's get you down here so you can see good. I don't think this will take long to dry. But we're just gonna, you're probably gonna have to use a couple coats of this to get the color that we want. But I'm just gonna be coming straight down like this. Because this is gonna be one of our bases gonna be so pretty okay so I know you know what I'm doing so for time purposes I'll come back when this is painted and like I said I probably will have to give this two coats so I'll be right back okay I have these painted and while they're drying I think they turned out really pretty while they're drying and I did take them in the um, bathroom and take a hair dryer to them, set on um, low cool and then warm low um, to dry those. So what I did is I went ahead and sprayed my candlestick 
and this little glass container with this foil metallic. And I love the effect. I mean, they really look like silver. I think they turned out really nice. I love them, okay? So what we're going to do next is, um, I think what I'll do first is glue this on top of this to give this such a pretty elegant look. I just think this is gonna be really cute. And we're gonna just put glue. Now I would use E6000 and hot glue if you want this to be permanent, but for storage, I usually just tear my things down. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, I'm just gonna try to eyeball this and press this down. And then this is what you have. I think this is gorgeous. I really do. You would never know that that's two glasses put together. All right, so we're gonna start building our ball. And what I did is I just took, what we're gonna make is a topiary with Christmas bulbs. Um, so I just took these out so that they will stack nicely. And I'm just going to put some glue. Do I want to put it that way? No, I think I'm going to do it this way because I think it would fit much better in there. So I'm going to put me some glue on the tip right there and try my best to get this straight because you don't want a crooked one. And just hold that for a minute. Okay, that's what we're getting so far. I think it is really going to be pretty. Okay, then we're gonna take this and we're just gonna glue that right on like that. So we will see. Put a lot of glue on this. And like I said, I would definitely use E6000 in combination with this to make this permanent. because this is a lot of weight that this is trying to support. And I may have to go back with my glue gun and put a little bit more glue right in through there. And I don't have this glued to the base yet. And we'll just hold it for a while. But that E6000 would just make it much more secure. It's kind of leaning a little bit, but that is okay. And by the time I put a little bit more glue around there, he won't be leaning at all. Okay? Now, you can definitely, I would glue it in its base, but for now I'm just gonna do this. Oh, I think that is so pretty, okay? Okay, we're gonna take, these bases are still sort of tacky. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take this big one and pull this out. Okay, and I'm gonna try my best to get him glued in the center of one of these. You wanna put a lot of glue down, and I need to move you so you can see. Okay, and we're gonna try to get him straight. And just push down. Okay. 
Oh, I think these are gonna be so adorable, okay? Now, for this one, we're just gonna take this other one off. Basically, these from Lowe's just pop off. Okay, and we're trying our best to stay level. Put some glue. Like I said, though, I would do the combination hot glue and E6000. Okay, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, that is what we're getting so far. I think this is adorable. I love this. Oh, can't stand it. Oh, so pretty. Okay, then we're going to take this one. And put him right on top here because this is so round let's see and we'll just hold him but these are so expensive in the store if you'd see these at hobby lobby or kirkland's Oh my, you would pay a lot for this. But look how easy this was and how beautiful it is. I love it. So now we have two and we're gonna make a third one. This is so simple and you can make them in any color that fits your decor. Okay, so for this one, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna check this out first. Take this off. Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna take this, put some hot glue right in here again, and put plenty of hot glue. And with this, I really would, I'm gonna have to be really careful with mine because I don't wanna put E6000. So I would definitely suggest a combination of E6000 and hot glue. And if you just wanted to set something like that around, that's gorgeous in itself. I mean, the possibilities are endless with this. Totally endless. Okay, then we're going to put some more. But I really would recommend the E6000 and the hot glue. Because I wouldn't want yours to fall apart. Okay, and then just hold this. But these are so adorable. Okay, and this is what you have here. So now we have three beautiful pieces of Christmas decor. Let me put this up so you can see. I think they're gorgeous. And this one up here. Oh, that is beautiful. And this one right here. But I love these. They are so pretty. I mean, if you would see these out, you would pay a lot of money for these. I love them. They're so pretty. It's hard to get them all in there because that's just so tall. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.